just turned up at a place called Dark Edges. Uh, it's something to do with Game of Thrones, but uh, neither of us know anything about the Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's like having like a Star Trek convention. <laughs> We've invaded it and know nothing about Star Wars. It's a joke, darling. <laughs> there we go. Dark edges this way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bit of light. Right, so don't tell anybody we don't know anything about dark edges. Or Game of Thrones. <laughs> right, here we go. So this is the dark edges. Thought we'd come for a visit while we were passing. Um, and uh, Lots of folks seem to be here. They are beautiful. Uh, yeah, quite pretty. Yes. It'd be better on a dry day to walk up and down. But um yeah, in lovely. The dark. Yeah, in the dark. I have to take a drive down later when the crowds have gone. So might try that. I have to start watching Game of Thrones, babe. One day, maybe. This is us, quarter to eight on a Sunday morning. Heading to sea. Yeah, you got the cars away. We're off to see some rocks. Yeah, hexagonal rocks. Hexagonal rocks. So, before the tourists get here. Yeah, bloody tourists. Okay, so we're there. And that's where we've got to head. Blue Trail to get us down to the causeway. the giant's causeway over that way and uh, working our way around steadily
go. There's Karen, James Causeway. Finally got here, sweetie. <laughs> Lots of very sleepy today. So she's managed to get up. So grand. Yeah, can do. Have a wishing chair. Somewhere over that way. Excuse me, madam. You course we're wondering. Yeah. Oh, aye. Must be tasty. Oh, yeah. I just bummed the dough at Ladybird on it. <laughs> on his bum. Yeah. Ladybird catching a ride. So this is the amphitheatre. We then headed south via an old abbey in order to pass some time before we went to meet up with Colm, an old friend of Karen's. We've just arrived at the old Mellifont Abbey. Um, we're a little bit after hours, uh, so the visitor centre's closed up, all locked up. But um, we still get to have a walk around. There's the visitor centre. 
looks like we're taking Oliver with us. direction. Oh, you've come back, have you? Well, oh, oh, yeah. Well, we can't get where you go. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. one of the small broken ginger child. Be a good shot for you. exploring Slane Abbey and again it's another place you can just get in walk around and explore absolutely fantastic Yes. 
Wave. Wave. <laughs> oh, well. Hello. Are <laughs> <laughs> you caged? <laughs> oh, there's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is our last full day on Ireland. Uh, we get the ferry at quarter past two in the morning and um, sail back across to Wales to Anglesey and uh, Last night we stayed um, with one of Karen's old friends, uh, Colm and his wife Tracy. Um, we stayed at their place and had a brilliant night trying whiskies. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, and we're just hanging out today with Colm for a while. Um, went to see a distillery but it was closed. And so we've come to the Abbey for an explorer as well. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think we'll spend the rest of the day with them and then start heading down towards uh, Dublin, ready for late evening, early hours of the morning. After an overnight stop and a relaxing day with Colm and his family, it was time to head back to Dublin and our ferry back to the UK. So it's one o'clock in the morning and we're now in the queue at the Stena Line and just making a brew to take on board with us. Oliver's not best happy. Hi, hey, buddy. No, not best happy, sunshine. Still got his cone on. And um, a little bit whiny. Yes. Apple five again. This is it. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye to Ireland. Been the best part of two months and uh, yeah, a bit strange believing. So that's it. Just coming into Anglesey now. Time to head down towards the van and go see Oliver.
So, ready on your side? As this is our final island instalment, I thought we'd give you a bit of a rundown on how we found it. Now initially we were a bit disappointed because uh, a lot of places uh, had height barriers which we, uh, okay, we're used to in the UK but uh, some of these were at places that were marked for the Wild Atlantic Way so that was a little bit frustrating. Uh, once we got our heads around that we just moved on and found places that didn't have them. So anything above two metres uh, at all and you're going to run into this problem. Oh, and the next thing then? Bins. Or lack of bins. Yes. <sighs> if you see a bin and nobody about, put stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. Because it really is bad and we have been told about people being told off for putting stuff in the bins and told to take it back out again. It's like, no! Yeah, uh, another thing we found uh, a lack of was ibuprofen uh, in the supermarkets. Yeah, uh, don't have a that, headache. Yeah, that was really strange. If you can't take paracetamol, uh, take ibuprofen with you because they just don't sell it in the supermarkets. Uh, where we're used to going into an Aldi or a Lidl or something and they're at the tills, uh, there's nothing. There's, on the shelves there's paracetamol uh, and that's about your lot really for painkillers. So take your own ibuprofen if you take it. And if you do find it, it's really, really, really expensive. We went to a chemist and I paid nearly £10, didn't I? Yeah, for something a, like that, yeah. Um, they were high strength, but nah. Anyway, so in, in Ireland, the people were friendly. Um, the, the, the sights to see, especially... Um, oh, there we go, I've just remembered the, the one thing. Right, if you tour in Ireland, uh, try and avoid the uh, summer holidays. Uh, it is absolutely full of coaches and uh, a mass of tourists from uh, Europe and from America. Um, so yeah, definitely avoid going in the summer, uh, go off peak, purely because um, there's a ram of people there um, and you just won't get in to see anything. So yeah, definitely avoid Ooh. that. And go the same way as the coaches. Oh, right. And when you're travelling around the peninsulas, make sure that you go in the same direction as the coaches. Um, as you might have seen in our video um, that around Slee Head area, uh, we were luckily we were following a coach that met up with five cars that went and they had to reverse. So uh, yeah, make sure you do go in the direction of the coaches. Do a bit of research on that. Um, and yes. The, the, the people were friendly, the places were great to see. Um, the weather initially was absolutely mafting, but then we got the weather, uh, so be prepared for wet weather, because uh, that's how it's so green normally. But um, yes, recommended for a visit. Do watch out for high barriers and, and the other stuff we've said about already. The main attractions go really early or really late in the day. Oh yeah. And let lots less people about yes uh, yeah definitely try and get there as there as early or as late as possible uh, mid uh, if you go mid, mid morning you're meeting up with the coaches again the coach tours um, so yeah would we go again I think we'd go again but we'd travel slightly different to how we did so but uh, anyway uh, rambling on we hope you've enjoyed this series uh, and I hope it's given you some insight as to uh, some of the things that are available to see in Ireland without spending a fortune. So, okay. Yeah. Right, that's us wrapped up. All right, take care and- uh, See you in Europe. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not in Ireland at the moment. So yeah, uh, if, you, uh, if you fancy following along, uh, we're, we're traveling in Europe at the moment, so there's gonna be some videos coming out of that. Okay, all right, take care now. See you later. Bye. Hello, sunshine. You alright? You miss us? Oh, it's still itchy.
Yeah. Bless you. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate it if you could click the thumbs up icon. If you fancy following along with our future travels, simply click the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. Take care folks.